dear learners welcome to the case study session till now you have studied about different concepts and theories of tourism all these concept acts as a foundation of your learning further in order to understand the application of these concepts and theories the best way is to learn through case studies why is a case study important a case study familiarizes a learner with real world practices and problems it helps a student to learn from the real world experiences that are being shared in the case study it enhances the overall practical knowledge of a student in this case study unit we will aim to tell you about and want to give you an insight about the history of sita travel company which has made a mark on the tourism sector of india learn about the profile of the company factors of its growth its vision mission organization structure understand about the operational profile and services offered by sita access its marketing human resource as well as corporate social responsibility strategies as discussed this unit is a case study unit and this case study is based on an inbound travel company called sita sita travel is a travel intermediary company as you have already studied in the unit 13 of ts a travel intermediary act as a link between tourist and the different service providers at the destination and offers a consumable tourism product to tourists called the tour package in this case study we will learn about a company called sita travels which is an inbound travel company so dear students let's start learning from the case study of sita travels Sita Travels is a leading destination management company. It is also a company which take care of inbound tourism marketing. It offers tailor-made travel and related services to tourists traveling to destinations of India, Nepal, Bhutan as well as Sri Lanka. The company's unique selling proposition that differentiate it from other travel companies lies in its consultative approach while preparing tour packages, warm and personalized services while serving tourists, and above all the execution of creative ideas that reveal each destination's authentic character. The present day Sita Travel Company is a result of continuous hard work and dedication of many people from more than a half century. The changes and development it had witnessed resonate with the story of the Indian tourism industry. A closer look at the history of Sita will give us an insight into the journey of Indian tourism industry. So let's study the history of Sita. The story of the genesis of Sita Travel is as fascinating as its name. Sita in Sita Travel is an acronym. It stands for Students International Travel Association. and in the name lies the secret of its beginning the present day sita travels with its head office in india was started by an american named jack danglers in the year 1933 jack danglers organized a bicycle tour to europe during which he met helen who later became his life partner inspired by the success of the tour in 1936 a proper office was opened in new york as students international travel association Soon it became a travel bureau with the name Sita World Travels Incorporated in US. After expansion of the company in United States, the first overseas office was opened in London in year 1955. The company initiated an extensive training program to identify and appoint professional across the globe. who can manage sita world travels in corporated offices company recognized that tourism will be a booming industry soon so they want a team of professional who can handle well the different offices of sita world travels incorporated so at this point of time the story of sita world travels incorporated from us got its indian connection this is the photo of mr jack danglers he was president sita world travel incorporated usa In the year 1955 among those who were trained by the company in US one person from India was Mr Inder Sharma who later became the doyen and the father of modern Indian tourism industry at that time he was working as a transfer assistant with a company called Mercury Travels since 1953 He was elected by Sita World Travel Incorporated New York for a 6 month advanced training in travel management in USA. After completing his training, he returned back to India and opened the first Sita office in India in 
with a total of three staff in the office, including him. He worked very hard. He worked as the regional manager for India from 1956 to 1963. He also handled the post very well and soon he was promoted to the position of Vice President Asia. In 1963, Sita World Travel Incorporated thought of selling its India office. This time, Mr. Inder Sharma tapped this opportunity. He thought it is the right time to start his own venture. He bought this MNC and converted it into an Indian family-owned business. Hence, Sita World Travel Incorporated, a company from US, was established as an Indian private limited company and Mr. Inder Sharma took charge of the company as a managing director. From 1963 to year 2000, under the able leadership of Mr. Inder Sharma, Sita Travels India grew from strength to strength. Now we will discuss the timeline, the different years and the milestone achieved by the company from the year 1963 to year 2015. In the year 1963, as we already have discussed, Sita's first office was set up in New Delhi with three staff. In the year 1972, after 10 years of dedication and hard work, Sita took the initiative and started its own first overseas offices in Paris, followed by Milan, Frankfurt, London, New York, Stockholm, Barcelona and Lisbon. Year 1982 was also very important for Sita. This year, Sita extended its operation and services to include Sri Lanka and opened their office there. 1984 was another milestone year for Sita. With the opening of a Nepal office, Sita became the only travel agency with a presence in three SAAC countries. This showed that Sita was growing in leaps and bounds. In year 1993, Sita became a fully owned public limited company. From a private company, now it was a public limited company. And now Sita was known as Sita World Travel India Limited. By March 2000, Sita has gained tremendous importance. It had over 23 Pan India offices and 9 international marketing offices. It became one of the most successful Indian companies across the globe. This attracted the interest of many global companies towards Indian tourism industry. Life came to a full circle. As, after approximately 35 years in the year 2000, Mr. Inder Sharma sold Sita World Travel India Limited, his own baby, to an MNC of Zurich called Keoni Group. It was one of the biggest deal at that time and also an indication of the coming age of Indian companies. This is photo of Mr. Inder Sharma. He was also a Padamshiri and that is very, very important for a person from tourism industry to get this honor and award. Further, in year 2015, another milestone and a turnover was witnessed by Sita as a company. Now, Sita Tour and Travel, which was a company of Keoni from 2000 to 2015, it was again sold out and became a own subsidiary of Thomas Cook India Limited. And rather, Thomas Cook India Limited was owned and operated by Fairflex Financial Holdings, a Toronto-based financial services holding company. Now, in 2015, Sita became a part of a bigger brand name called Thomas Cook India. Thomas Cook India Limited has its inbound business and inbound business is being operated under three different companies with a single brand name. That brand name is Travel Corporation India Limited, TCI. And this big brand name consists of three further brand names. One of the brand name is Sita that majorly handles the laser inbound market of TCI. Travel Corporation India Limited, that is TCI, is now one of the India's foremost and largest inbound travel companies, where a major share of its success is due to the knowledge, experience and destination expertise of Sita. Today, Sita is India's most awarded travel company. It has a total of 79 national and international awards to its name till date. These awards of excellence recognize Sita as a leader in the industry who has set and achieved high standards for travel in India. This slide shows the success story of Sita. In the further discussion, we will study what makes Sita so successful, even today after experiencing many management shifts and changes over the year. 
It has a legacy of 56 years. It has been awarded by 79 awards. It has 21 offices over the world and within India. It has an employee strength of 550 employees. They started with three employees and at present the number of employees is around 550. It has 1500 global representation across the world and it has around 100 handling offices across India. All this shows that yes, Sita today is a great success story. And now we will discuss what makes Sita so successful. The first important aspect to look about is the vision of the company. What does vision signifies? Vision signifies the ultimate aim of the company, the goal for which the company exists. And the Sita vision is to grow with a well diversified business portfolio. They don't want to limit themselves to a single product portfolio, rather they believe in diversified product portfolios. They want to create new trends and for that they want to be innovative. They demonstrate a commitment to sustainability and social responsibility. They understand that tourism depends upon the conscious consumption of tourism. So they want to become sustainable. These are the vision statements. These visions are generally achieved by a concrete action plan, which is generally guided by the mission of the company. Mission of the company represents its action plan, which company undertakes to achieve its vision. Sita mission is to develop the best quality product and services. Sita believes that if the product and services of high quality, the customer will always be happy with the company. And for that, they focus on high customer and employee satisfaction. Not only the customer, employee is also very important for company Sita. They target healthy growth and sustainable profitability. They don't have a myopic viewpoint. They understand the fragility of tourism and thus they believe in sustainable profitability. First of all, when we have to understand the company, we should study the diverse product portfolio of the company. Sita has a huge product portfolio. They offer different type of packages and not only for India, but also for Nepal, Sri Lanka and Bhutan. And they have created such a great line of products that they want that tourists should experience the different facets of these four countries. And we can say that the competitive edge of Sita lies in its creative and innovative product offering. Word creative and innovative, it means that they do a lot of hard work to make their products. Being an inbound company, they majorly caters to leisure tourists across the globe with a diverse range of services. And they offer a number of itineraries for the four countries we have just mentioned. If we have to classify the main product and services offered by them, we can classify the services and products into four major categories. First is group inclusive tour packages. This means the GIT packages. These are the scheduled departure which is being offered by Sita for lesser market of tourists traveling across the world to enjoy India and the other three countries. So these are scheduled pre-decided tour packages which help a tourist to experience the authenticity of India and other destinations. The other important product line is free independent tour packages. Tourists, those who want to experience India and other countries at their own pace, they prefer to take these free independent tour packages. They have the speciality of customization and personalization. And these packages of Sita help a tourist to explore a destination with slow pace and at their own choice. Other than these two, the third important category is special interest tour packages. Special interest tour packages means, as I discussed, Sita believe in innovative and creative packages. So they offer a variety of special interest packages like you can have a photography tour in India, you can have a specialized tiger tourism in India, you can have wildlife tourism in India, you can have culinary tourism in India and even you can experience textiles of India with Sita. Other than these three, the upcoming product line is luxury tour packages. Luxury tour packages of company help a tourist to explore India in a Maharaja style. So, being it the senior citizen tours or the exclusive women groups or exclusively celebrities all take help of Sita as a travel company to enjoy India and other three destinations. On all the four types of packages discussed, there is a broad set of services which is being offered by Sita. As an inbound company, Sita take care of the tourist the moment he or she reaches the destination up till the time they went back to their home. So they reserve, book and offer a wide variety of services to tourists, starting from flight reservations, 
then ground transportations if required train reservations then meet and greet service at the airport or at the railway station helping them with knowledgeable tour guides and tour escorts booking accommodation as per their choice offering them culture and cuisine of india so that they can relish it offering them unique sightseeing tours that enhance their knowledge and experience and other ground assistance which are being required by the tourists these are the set of services which are being offered by sita to the tourists traveling to india and some example of interesting itineraries being offered by sita one of the itineraries introduction to india culture and religion so in a brief itinerary they want to make tourist experience the diversity and vastness of india as a country another example of the itinerary is east by northeast this is very interesting itinerary they want the tourists should experience bhutan but also should have a experience of northeast part of india so through northeast india they make tourists travel to bhutan it is a very important itinerary which helps a tourist to enjoy the spirituality and nature of east as well as northeast another important itinerary is for the love of nature forest tiger tribes and ancient landscape the title of the itinerary in itself shows how diverse information and how diverse products are being combined into a single itinerary so this individual itinerary will help you to enjoy nature as well as ancient landscape forest and most important tiger of india the last itinerary is of sri lanka this itinerary is being titled as sri lanka in style this means that you will be able to experience sri lanka in a very unique style which help you to have authentic experience of sri lanka as a destination After studying the different product portfolios and the examples of itineraries the next important step is to understand how these itineraries are made how these itineraries are executed and how these itineraries are being experienced by tourists so now we will study about the operational profile of sita operational profile of sita means the different important departments that are in sita and they work together to cater to the needs of tourists As discussed earlier, Sita handles leisure market of TCI. So all of the department work towards creation, execution, and experience of these leisure market products. The first important department is product development department. This department is responsible for making innovative and creative tour packages and itineraries. As discussed few moment backs, all these itineraries which are discussed are being developed and created by this department, which is the product development department of Sita. The next important department, once the product has been created, it is being marketed to the tourists across world by different foreign tour operators, marketing representatives of Sita. Once the product is sold and tourist is ready to travel to India or the other countries, the work of tour operation department start. This department is responsible for the execution of the tour package. They make all travel arrangement for tourists once they land India. They book, they reserve and they again reconfirm different services like their hotel, guides, transportation, sightseeing, meals etc are being booked and reconfirmed by this department. Another important department is travel department. This department take care of all the transportation related inquiries and services of the tourist like booking a car for the tourist or coach or tempo traveler or arranging airport representative and knowledgeable tour guides for the tourist all these three department work in synchronization with each other to have a wonderful experience of a tourist we have studied the itineraries we have studied the different departments of sita it is very important to understand who are the customers of sita who all are coming through sita to enjoy these four destination if we have a insight into the customer profile we can understand how diverse is the customer profile of sita sita customer is not from a single country rather it is from different continents and we call them the major source market of sita that is all the countries from where tourists are traveling to india to experience it with the help of sita during the early years of its operation sita received the major part of its inbound tourist from us this is very apparent because sita india had a close relationship with sita us in the 70s the company got a significant share of european market as well from us and europe now the company handles almost all major markets from different continents of the world at present sita has following market wise departments that handle tourists coming from respective continents the first is north america department 
Latin America, United Kingdom, France and Benelux which is Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg, Spain, Portugal, Germany, Austria and Switzerland and also Southeast Asia. To handle such a large scale operation, CETA needs a robust organization structure. The company has developed an organization structure both in terms of national offices as well as international partners. The organization structure of the company can be discussed or the network of the company can be discussed into four levels. First, the headquarter. The headquarter of the company is in Delhi NCR and all the policy and product decisions are taken here. Second important is regional offices of the company. Regional offices work as the execution arm of the company. Entire India is divided into five regions with North, South, East, West and Delhi. The third important level is the branch offices of the company. Branch offices are in India as well as in South Asia. It has 18 offices in India and 3 offices in South Asia. Fourth important level is the international offices. These offices work as a marketing channel for CETA. These offices help CETA to connect to overseas travel agencies and their clientele. It has 14 international offices. Further, these 14 offices help CETA to connect to its 1500 global partners across the globe to reach all source markets from where tourists can come to India. Besides these four levels, CETA works with many handling agents within India. These handling agents help CETA to cater to the requirement of the inbound tourists traveling within India. This organization structure has certain peculiar features. These features are in a way an example of the diversity of this company and also the strength of this company. It has an extensive network. It has a strong region-wide infrastructure. It has an expert ground operations department. It gives best guide panel to deliver authentic experiences. It has the ability to obtain preferred rates and conditions from different suppliers. It continuously educate their suppliers on clients need. And it also ensure quality control to deliver what they have promised. After understanding the operational strategy and the creative products they have made, it is very important to study how these products are being marketed across the globe. Marketing strategy plays a crucial role in creating awareness about the products and services of a company in the selected source market. As discussed earlier, the primary source market of Sita is situated far away from India. So it is very important for Sita to have a marketing strategy that help them to attract as many as tourists to the countries they are catering to. Hence, the international office of Sita play a key role in marketing tour packages, itineraries and services offered by Sita. Other than these offices, Sita also following further strategies for marketing its product. They use advertising. Advertising through print and digital media, primarily through videos. Sita has its own in-house video production editing team and they make very creative and innovative videos to sell a destination. Then they have their own travel blog. Travel Blogs is a creative initiative of Sita that help inquisitive tourists to know more about various facets of India and South Asia's destinations. They publish creative brochures as well as e-brochures and they have a very knowledge-based monthly newsletter. These are the initiative of Sita that contributes towards the promotion of the company. Also, Sita participate in different international trade fairs like ITB Berlin, GITB Jaipur, WTM London, Fitur Madrid, etc. Also help CETA to gain immense recognition. CETA has taken membership of many prestigious national as well as international organizations like ASTA, PATA, WTTC, NTA, Ecotourism Society of India, etc. These all help CETA to gain international brand presence. These are the examples of different e-brochures which are available on the website of Sita. These brochures offer a detailed information about the destinations. These are the examples of the monthly newsletters Sita publish every month. And these newsletters help them tourists to understand different facets of destinations in India as well as in South Asia. And these are the upcoming international trade fairs in which Sita have participated or they will be participating. Another important pillar of a company's success is human resource. 
Human resource is of course one of the core strength of Sita and they believe that if their employee is happy customer will automatically be happy thus for Sita each employee is an asset Sita believes in growth and happiness of its 550 employees which ultimately contributes toward the overall success of the company hence recruitment selection of employee is a fundamental process in Sita with a dedicated HR team company recruit and select people by two main methods First method is advertising. Using different platform, print and digital, company advertise the specific job profile. Then the process of shortlisting resumes, interviews and selection are followed. Another important method is unsolicited resume. This means that they do not have an advertisement of the job, but aspirants keep approaching the company for the job and submit their unsolicited resumes. HR team review the resumes and if they seem someone fit for the company they invite him her for the further selection process during the process of recruitment selection the HR team look for three mandatory critical attribute in prospective employee these are reliability passion as well as authenticity this is an example of happy employees of sita they are celebrating festivals they are visiting different places and they are representing their company at different national and international platforms Human resource training and development is another key area in which Sita works. For newly recruited employee, they generally attach them with the experienced person of the company and they are trained and transferred in all the departments so that they can have experience of different activities of the company. For the employees which are already working in the company, training and development is one of the major area of focus. Sita has its own destination knowledge center. This center is comprised of well experienced and knowledge hungry people. They continuously travel across India and South Asia, listen to locals, initiate partnership, engage with them and determine mutually beneficial alignment. This is because Sita believe that no matter how good or wise we are, local always know the best kept secrets that will bring long term success to a particular destination. Further, this knowledge is disseminated to the employee as a part of product or operation training. This is not only important for a flawless service delivery for a customer but also it empowers each employee with new skill set and knowledge as discussed earlier since its beginning sita had worked as a catalyst to change the scenario of tourism development in india over the years it has positively contributed to various areas of trade and society at large beyond the motive of earning profits to sita corporate social responsibility is an integral part of its core business activity it aims at minimizing the adverse impacts of tourist travel and maximizing its positive impacts. Following are the areas on which Sita works very hard. They work for education and employability. They work for health and sanitation facilities. They work for rural and tribal area development. And they also extend their hand in case of emergency relief funds. Few are the major initiatives done by Sita as a part of their CSR. They have a workshop which is regarding child protection, particularly in Kerala and Goa. And they sensitize different hoteliers as well as trade partners about the vulnerability of children to sexual exploitation. Sita has been awarded with PATA in 2010 with a gold award. Sustainability guidelines are another important area on which Sita works. They always design excursions which are environmental, social and economically sensitive and has very less impact. They also promote jute bags as well as they have removed use of plastic bottles from offices. Sita contributed hugely during the Nepal disaster and they have raised money so that they can help the people of Nepal. Literacy India is an NGO, with this NGO Sita also works and they believe that the noble cause by giving several projects to help empower women. In year 2010-11, Sita won National Tourism Award for Responsible Tourism Project Empowerment of Women through Literacy India and Fair Trade. The success story of Sita was not very smooth always. Many challenges has been faced by Sita and still they are facing. The main are cutthroat internal marketing competition, international competition, ever-evolving demand patterns of tourists, digitalization, as well as the overall changing scenario of global world. These challenges are being handled by Sita very well. They have converted their strength into their core competencies and they have controlled their weaknesses. So students, after studying this case study, we can conclude that case study help us to understand how a company has evolved, how a company has sustained different challenges and how they have moved forward on the path of success. 
Like we have discussed the case study of Sita, there can be any company you can study from this same perspective which we have just shared here. This case study helps you to become more analytic as well as to develop a keen eye in you to evaluate a company. Thank you and keep learning.